Welcome. Today I'm going to repair a Miele ceramic cooktop, and uh, it's an KM six a four six eight. Um, one of the um, elements is not switching on, and I already determined it's a little component uh, in the control board. It's a relay which is fused. This is the little relay. Um, an element costing five dollars and seventeen cents. So the symptoms we can see if we turn this on, we can for instance see that this one, which is this one, remains cold. You see? So if I turn say this one on, we can instantly see the red light coming in. Yep, so that's now heating up. I turn it off again. So even when I <coughs> switch this one on and off, you normally hear a little relay going, which is a little black thing I showed before. You cannot hear it. It's, it's frozen, fused. And I'll show you later how it came about to be fused. Before you start working on electric devices like this, um, make sure you're comfortable doing that. Otherwise, ask somebody who can help you. Uh, the first thing we do is, of course, go and turn the power off to this device so we can safely work on it. Okay, so the power has been turned off. You can see it's not responding on anything anymore. So now, the next step is to remove the Miele um, cooktop from its location so we can work on it. Um, for that I have a little trick which I show you. So the cooktop is clipped this clips in the in the bench top and we have to put pressure underneath to lift it up. For that I have these items one block for the floor. One piece of wood what stands up and one lever so I put this underneath this little block under there so it doesn't damage and then I press here you see lift the thing that's it so these piece of wood we need as well as a work base so I lift put this underneath on the other side put this underneath away from the screws we have to undo in a minute so push it a bit forward that's it So the next step is to uh, undo all the screws on the outside. There are um, four on each side here and two there. You need a uh, specialized screwdriver head. Uh, it's called a T20. Um, it's like, like a sort of a uh, six-pointed star. All right, so let's start undoing all the screws. That's all the screws on done. Now we can lift the top off and put it aside. <coughs> That's it. One open Miele cooktop. Now quickly let me show you the reason why we have to do this. Um, this cooktop is now just over 10 years old and out of warranty. Um, this little connector here on this particular um, heater um, that has not been crimped correctly and over the 10 years time it has been starting to blacken so you can see this wire should be white like this one is all brownish because this clip was sparking basically so after 8 years or so we sort of 
saw this one not turning on sometimes and we thought oh what's happening um, then it worked again and but after like 10 years it stopped completely and um, I opened it crimped it and it worked again for a few months but then the relay driving this connection which is um, under let's have a look at that under the control board here so this is the control board and we are going to have a look at this later but the relay fused because of that sparking and I'm going to replace the relay this um, control unit uh, consists of two components the top bit which controls the, the, the touch of on and off and the bottom bit which uh, has the relays to, to drive the, um, the uh, elements so this little connector bend we have to carefully take off which I done to like so just pull this on the side out carefully so alright and then these little white connectors I noticed when we just carefully crimp them together they, they sort of let, let go and then go underneath so just take carefully not touching anything else see it comes loose and this one there we go two more to go And the last one. These are spring loaded underneath to keep the control unit touching the, the glass. So this is now can be put aside. Alright, so this part is also clipped with six plastic clips. So by doing the same thing, just pushing them together. Last two. Right. So now this can be taken aside. Okay, so you can see on the other side of the board, these are the relays I'm talking about. Very low cost Panasonic relays. Um, I bought mine on. Um, Element 14 in Australia, very easy, uh, literally $5.70 including shipping. Alright, so the first thing I had to do, and I already did that last week, is um, desolder the, the connectors of the, of the, of the relay. I, I identified this is my relay, driving the, the broken one, and I desoldered that with some, some desoldering copper and an iron carefully uh, applying heat and that's done so what I'm now going to do is solder this one back in place and then we're done okay I got uh, the uh, new relay so these are having little pins I have to line them up with the location where it has to go into so let's do that Make sure we don't bend the pins in the process. Okay, so the relay is in. Make sure it's snug with the the, the print and sticking out neatly. Wrap the soldering iron in a bit of tin. Okay, let's. I think it's now connected. So Carefully double check. Okay, new relay is in. Now we're going to put it together. 
again. That you do it straight away. Back on this location. <coughs> Put the controller on top. That's all click. So click it in. That's it. Put this control connecting strip back. I do that carefully with this plier. That's it, all in. Time for testing. So I'm going to turn the electricity on and see if that's what goes on. Okay, let's see how we go. Be careful with this, but uh, this top part is relatively safe. So this is the main one. I'm going to turn this one on. You see, it's working. Just one little relay. Turn it back off. Turn the electricity off. Put it together. All done. Okay, putting it together, so I'll put this top back on. It sort of goes inside of the bottom part. Make sure it's all, yeah, that's it. And then you go in reverse. When you take this apart, and uh, it has been a while, the, there's a strip underneath here, it's like a foam, foamy strip, just to keep the dirt out. Um, I replace that, so you go to Bunnings or whatever, um, just get yourself a nice little foamy strip. And it's all done. Alright, so now we have to put it back in its place, which is just removing these, put it in place. Lined up as quickly as possible. That's it. It's in. Well done. One fixed cooktop.